Okay, YouTube analytics. Every YouTuber knows that it exists, but not everybody knows what every single one of those things in YouTube analytics means. So in this video, I'm gonna go through the YouTube analytics in a new studio, a new YouTube studio and explain every single one of the metrics and information available there just for you so let's just get it started okay this is how a youtube analytics window looks like if you don't know how to get to youtube analytics go to youtube.com press your icon right there and press youtube studio then wait a bit until it will load eventually and then press analytics on the left hand on the left hand like it's on the left you will gonna go and see uh, this youtube analytics window we are gonna go through every single one of those metrics that will be available for you i'm gonna be explaining in short to not make this video overly long because it will be quite long so if you're ready just sit down create your no not create prepare your snacks and sit down and get ready for the informational barrage that I'm gonna bombard you right now. The majority of the things that you will he hear here, you will probably already know, but it will uh, help you to gain just more info, understand more stuff. First things first, before we're gonna get started, this is analytics for the small channel, the channel of my size. So it's around 159 subscribers. You can see this number exactly right here. This is for the small channel. Uh, the larger your channel becomes, your analytics will become a bit more different because you're gonna get more insights, let's say, for example, your notification click-through rate, uh, your additional stuff, it's gonna change a bit, but the core that is YouTube analytics for this channel right now, it will not change. Only thing that you will be added in the future is the revenue tab. I'm gonna talk about this a little bit, but let's just get it started. I'm gonna be going through every single one of those stuff. So let's just go. When you get to YouTube analytics, uh, channel analytics, uh, you will see that there are actually four different tabs. It's five, but uh, for the smaller channels, it's four. You will have an overview tab, you will have a reach tab right here, you will have an engagement tab, and you will have an audience tab. These things uh, have a, a lot of bunch, a bunch of information within them, and we're gonna go through all of them. One very important thing before you're gonna get this: all the information that you are provided, except for the real-time information, is for 28 days by default. You see this right here; it says last 28 days. If you want to change the default information date, you can change by pressing it uh, with for last seven days, last 90 days, 365 days, meaning one year, for lifetime, the separate years or separate months, or just custom dates that you want. Whatever you will do, it will change the dates accordingly. For example, this graph shows 28 days only, but if I want to see it in 90 days, I'm going to press 90 days, it will change for 90 days, and every single one of the graphs will change for the last 90 days, except for the things that it's not applicable to for example the real time date it doesn't matter for if you choose 90 days or 365 days this information will show you real time date so let's just switch to last 28 days to have it as as a default and let's go through uh, this stuff so first thing we will see when you go to the channel ad analytics and overview tab you will see uh, this graphs right here and this card what did i think they call it the card this text it will show you on average overall if your views are up or not it says that I got uh, 212 views for the last 28 days. By the way, it does not count the day you are in. It starts counting from yesterday because only the real-time dates can show you that real-time information. This counts only day before that. It shows you that in the last 28 days, my views are up and because my average is from 260 to 600. This average is counted from entire your channel's history, I think. I'm not sure about this, but as far as I understand, it counts from entire channel's history. So it's 260 to 600 views on average I got, but now I get to 2012, which is very good. What, what The graphs that you will see here, every single one of those things has see more tab, but I'm, I'm not going to go through the see more tab just yet because you don't need to know this right now. You can see it by yourself in the, after the video is done. In here, you see three graphs. You will see a views graph, you will see a watch time graph and you will see the subscribe graph. These graphs are taken from each and every tab you will see from the top. Views are taken from the reach tab, watch time is taken from engagement tab and audience and subscribers is taken from audience tab. You can see those graphs in those tabs as well, but because YouTube decided that these tabs are actually important, it gives you information about them right away here. It shows you how many views you got for the last 28 days, including each and every day. When you point or when you hover your mouse above them, you're going to see the each and every single one of days. It shows you the days you uploaded the videos right here and what videos you uploaded. So you can compare how you're actually how your videos actually helped you to gain more views or not. For example, as like I see that right here, this got 
spike because this video was uploaded which is very good this got spike as well this got spike as well this got spike as well very nice so you will understand how your videos correlate to your overall views the same here with your watch time and same here with the subscribers you will see if subscribers are actually if people are actually subscribing for a newer videos or for an older videos you'll find you understand this information right away this information is available for other tabs as well so we're gonna go through them in detail a bit later most important tab probably in the channel analytics overview page is the real-time tab it shows you your information about your channel in real time meaning that it, it is uploaded co up updated constantly you will see that this button right here someone sometimes lights up uh, just pay attention yeah, as you can see it lights it up because it updated your information it, it I think it does in only five or ten seconds but it doesn't matter it practically uh, gives your information live and live information given is your amount of subscribers at the moment of you are you watching this and your live amount of views as you can see from the videos from from the start of the video the views went down because the information because this uh, live tab shows you the information for the last 48 hours and when new hour starts it starts everything from zero and deletes the information from 48 hours behind that's why views went down because hour just started for me it's 9 a.m in the morning for me it's just started an hour i still don't have views because it's just 901 i still don't have views but the views from the previous 48 hours from the 48 hours ago went away that's why the views went down it's showing you your live data for every single hour and you can hover on them and see how many views you got for example right here yesterday from 12 to 1 p.m i got four views right here i can see exactly what i got here from the top video I can see which videos from this 48 hours got the most amount of views if I go to see more probably I'm just gonna show you just just for the informational thing you're gonna see more information for example which videos got uh, when their views like their exact timings and what videos got the views for the last 60 minutes meaning that the last hour very very important tab very nice to have and very nice to see this tab when you go down for uh, below the real time you're gonna see the latest videos meaning that it shows you the last cards for your last 10 videos you, you're going to see the same thing on the dashboard on the main page but you can see this right here as well it shows you the information about your videos how your videos were doing compared to other videos and when they're compared to other videos pay attention to this stuff right here it is it means that it is comparing first 13 hours and third 30 days and 13 hours of this video to the videos that has been uploaded for at least 13 days and 13 hours meaning that the information here is not compared to this video because it has the last time but this time is compared to this time you may understand this just just don't think too much about this right now but eventually you will get this if you didn't get it right now right here you're gonna get the top 10 videos for the last amount of time that you chose right here in this case 28 days it shows you the amount of views it got it shows you the average view duration in time and average view duration percentage of the video meaning that how may how much of the video have been watched on average in the percentages for example this video have been watched 32 percent of this video have been watched while only 16 percent of this video have been watched even though this video's average watch time is far higher than for example of this video and look and this video has far higher percentage meaning that this video was far shorter than this video that's why it get more views more watch time here on on average so this is uh, over your channel and next step the bigger channels have will have more information but i'm pretty sure if your channel is bigger you already have understanding what the information is there then we're gonna go to the rich tab rich tab is well it has far more information so let's just go through this as quick as possible let's go through the the uh, the uh, graphs first first is impressions impressions are how many times your thumbnails and titles have been seen by someone not the videos thumbnails for example when you go to youtube.com let me go to the youtube.com when you go here this is thumbnail this is counted as an impression meaning that i saw this thumbnail i saw this title so this individual peter lindgren will get impression from me right here i didn't click it so i didn't get any click from here that he didn't get any click from here i just saw the thumbnail it, it shows you exact number of the how many times your thumbnail has, has been seen and you see how your video is promoted by youtube and by your subscribers in on average in time for example in 28 days you see that it's growing but not that much but if you go for the 90 days you see the growth is a bit more uh, higher and for the 365 days you see like it's it's more extreme uh, impression click through rate is or ctr what is uh, what what people are calling it is how many times this how many percentage of these videos have been clicked by people 
So meaning that I saw an impression and I clicked it. How many times was it done? This is exactly what it is. I mean that in, for example, on the 24th of March, only 5.7% of the impressions have been clicked. Meaning that from uh, what, what 1,351 clicks, I got only the impressions. I got only 100 views, which is exactly 5.7% in this case. So this is what it is. This is how many percent of people are actually clicking your videos right here. It's, it's usually not, not very, uh, you should not think that this is a very low number. Usually the average for, for YouTube is from two to 10%. So 6% is pretty high, pretty good on average. I mean, for 28 days, this is the amount of views. The thing that we saw in overview tab, this is exact the views that you got, which is, yeah, you understand this. And this is unique viewers. This is not views. This is a viewers. These are actual people who actually clicked on your videos and viewed them. This is people. This is views. Meaning that single person can see your multiple videos or, or see a single video multiple times. This is more important than this ta tag in, in, to tab in this case. You see how many people are actually coming to your videos. And this is how many times your videos have been seen. Very important thing. When you go down, you see the traffic sources, meaning from where your views are coming. In my case, you see the 67% from my views are coming from the YouTube search, meaning the people are actually searching for the videos and my videos are coming up and they're clicking on it. Then you see the browse features, which is basically everything uh, like the subscription boxes, the YouTube recommended tabs, suggest, no, not suggested videos. Basically what YouTube is showing you from this browsing features when people from the trending etc etc this is the browse features this is a channel page when people are getting from to your channel suggested videos this videos on its side etc etc this is the thing that you can understand you you will see uh, by hovering on them and seeing this mark you can see uh, what the individual one of them or uh, are actually doing this is a very important thing right here this is actually how you will see how many percentage of the videos views that you get have been coming from YouTube recommending your content itself meaning that from a real recommended page or on one watch page or a home page how many p percent of this is coming from YouTube itself the higher this number is the better for you meaning that your views your YouTube is actually YouTube algorithm algorithm is helping you to spread 15% for me is pretty good. This is how many CTR I got on average from these views, from these impressions, from this 14.9%. How many uh, views I got from those impressions and how many, how much watch time do I got here? Plus an average watch time. Very important thing. Here it goes more in more detail about the uh, the traffic sources that you have. For example, it shows you how, how well, from external traffic source, which is 5%. How many percent of those five percent is coming from Google search, YouTube, Pinterest, uh, on the playlist? How many from 0 0.5, 0 0.5 percent is for all the views? How, how which which uh, playlists are actually promoting my views? Same for the suggesting videos, meaning that which videos are actually suggesting my videos from the YouTube search, meaning that what people are actually searching for when they come up with my videos, etc., etc. Very important thing for your keywords in the future. So pay attention to those information as well. Now let's switch to the engagement tab. Here you have only two graphs. Your watch time in hours in the previous iterations, your watch time was counted in minutes. Here are in hours. You can, but if you hover on them, you'll see the time in minutes as well. It's like for 84 hours is the 24,000 minutes. And right here is an average view duration. You can see exactly the same graph for each and every one of them. You see how for how long your videos have been viewed on average. All of your videos, not a single video. Here are your top videos by the watch hours for the last 28 days because I have lost 28 days selected. This is our top videos by end screen, meaning that how many, which videos are getting clicks on the end screen, on the very end of the videos, the end cards that you see on the videos. Which uh, which videos are getting clicked? As you can see, like this video got time clicked two times. This Got to click two times, etc. etc. Here are top playlists. So which one of the playlists are getting the most watch time? Here are top end screen type elements, meaning that if from the cards in the end, which one actually uh getting more clicks? Meaning that it's playlist, it's most recent upload, it's your best for you or it's subscribe. And here are the cards. Cards are the things that are getting on the corner. I think it's somewhere right here on the corner while you're watching the video. I'm probably be showing card right now. So yeah, let just pay attention to that and uh yeah it's, it's it's all for the engagement and audience for me the last tab 
it will be showing again the unique viewers right here and average views per viewer which is very important thing which was pretty high on the 4th of march very nice and the subscriber number the, every single day when you got subscribers if it's go below the zero that means that you lost a subscriber for some reason when i uploaded this video i lost a subscriber right okay no problem so things happen and when you go down here you're gonna see the watch time from the people who are subscribed and for not subscribed meaning that 88 percent of the people who are watching these videos or my videos are not subscribed i highly suggest you to subscribe if you're not i hear the countries top countries that are getting my views the majority of the viewers are coming from united states and india for me but usually these numbers are not very accurate because i don't have a lot of views and it's not counting very accurately when you don't have a lot of views here are age and gender again uh it's not very accurate when channel is very small and here are your top subtitles and closed caption capture languages i only have in english so yeah this is the only closed caption language that i can have so when you open the monetization it will open the revenue tab as well to show you your uh, amount of money gain per day and your average CTR so you, you can see this those ones as well but until you get to 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of watch time you will not be able to see that well uh, oh, that's this was a lot this was a lot of information I just gave you an overview of how the YouTube analytics actually work and what type of information it is providing for you. It is very, very important for you to sit down and go through the analytics, not to gain more views, not because, oh, you want to see how your uh, real time views are getting up. No, you don't want to see that. You want to see, you want to watch for the analytics and you want to see the information because you are gonna get a lot of great insights about your videos a lot of great insights about your thumbnails for example if i go to the reach right here uh, and i see ctr i see that my ctr is going a bit down meaning that the thumbnails that i use are not as good that I, uh, as the thumbnails that i used before but there is other thing as well that i might get a bit more views and usually more views you get your ctr goes down it's an average, it's, it's usual thing. For example, if I will show you, uh, let me just show you the you know, lifetime. Let me show you my first views. See, look at the CTR, 31%. Look at the, how high CTR and how wildly differs the CTR. And as the time goes, it goes like more, more closer to the straight line. Because I had a, not enough viewers, if, if I will show you the impressions. Right here, there are not enough impressions here. <laughs> These impressions are <laughs> skyrocketed right here because I... I uh, promoted this channel to my other channel which is far larger than this one as you can see there are not a lot of impressions so if the ctr is varies widely from from day to day and that's why uh, the larger the channel becomes the flatter the lines of the ctr becomes and you have to see those information i'm gonna make a videos about every single one of those tabs for you to understand what they mean and how you can use them to grow your channel and it will help you a lot uh, because uh, good videos are good but uh, this analytics will help to make your videos even better well i hope uh, this was clear enough again if you have any questions regarding to analytics you can go and ask them away in the comment section down below i uh, try to answer every single comment that i can uh, that i know the answer of but, but i i think i almost answer every single one of you so you can go and ask away no problem this will be it for today i hope this was clear enough i'm gonna be again going through the each and every one of those tabs and details in more detail to give you more information like the comparison of the videos comparison of the thumbnails etc etc we're gonna go through the analytics in very very deeply so this was it for today again Thank you for being here with me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want more videos like this one. And if you're not subscribed. And I'm going to see you in the next one. See ya.